What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, what could it be that's hiding in here for me? What's in the box? What's in the box? Is this a model kit or what's in here for me? What's in the box? What's in the box? How hard is it to put together? Is it made of leather? Hey, what's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Today's episode of What's in the Box was filmed right here at Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Selescu and this time we're down in my basement for our What's in the Box. Actually, I'm going to be building a bunch of Model T's for display, which might go into the Museum of the Highwood on one of the silent film nights. Um, not quite too sure yet of what I'm really doing there. But I have an idea to make a 1920s style town. And uh, one of the primary cars that are in the town is uh, Model T's. Because that was, uh, what did they say, one out of every five cars was a Model T. Something to that effect. So I've got a couple of vintage kits like this Laurel and Hardy Model T which I traded a friend for. And I've got, this is not so vintage, but it's um, not currently issued. It's the uh, vintage police car kit. And then of course, this friend also gave me his old Model Ts. I have the double T kit, and this is just a box, but it's got a whole bunch of the Ts in it. And then, one of my customers, Unfortunately, the gentleman passed away, but I ended up with his Model T's, and I've got one from one that I built when I was a kid back in the 80s that I'm going to tear down and rebuild because I got <coughs> spare parts. So, let's start off with looking at the Laurel and Hardy Model T. So we're going to start with this Laurel and Hardy Model T kit. Oh, and there goes my furnace. <laughs> Problem with filming these in the basement. Anyway, <clears throat> okay, so we're going to start with the Laurel and Hardy 1925 Roadster kit. Now this kit has not been in production for a long time. And I know what you guys are thinking, you know, you shouldn't be touching this thing because it's old and valuable, but unfortunately the box on this over time got into a bit of a flood or something you can see it got chipped here um, oh yeah and it's really bad there and there's mold on the box or mold marks or whatever but it's the old kit T462 so that's like 60s 70s issue I got this from the friend that gave me the parts so he put the bottom a new box bottom on here the original is actually in there, but huh. um, there has apparently been a reissue of Laurel and Hardy, but they're in the this car, the 27 road. Um, what do you call it? The Phaeton <clears throat> or the Touring car. Unfortunately, I never gave you the policeman on that. But anyway, so Laurel and Hardy in one of those. But the reason why I've got this is because. At the uh, theater, <clears throat> the Museum of the Highwood, every couple of months we do a silent movie night. And who better to have uh, as uh, the comedy um, group of Laurel and Hardy in a silent film. Although they didn't make too many silents, they were kind of got together right at the talkie era. So maybe we can cheat a little bit. But what's kind of nice about this is they show you Unfortunately, got wrecked, but they give you a little write-up on Laurel and Hardy, how they met and everything, and how they uh, uh, kind of did their stuff with the Model T, and there's a couple of pictures of them. So let's take a look at the what's in the box on a vintage kit. Don't get too mad at me, <laughs> but you'll see my reasonings here. Um, now, I don't know how well this picks up, but these instructions are pretty brown from 
<laughs> the mildew that occurred over the years. But this is your basic Model A. I mean, whoa, Model T. <laughs> Model A was 1929. The only thing that's a real standout is, of course, Oliver Hardy and Stan Laurel. And that's, you know, it, this is so basic. It's just basically your stock 1925 Model T with no custom bits to it. Yeah, there, as, there's the original box bottom. Now, here's the thing. I mean, look at the bag. It's so dirty. From the dirt from muddy water. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to get 300 bucks for this kit or anything, you know? I mean, there's the tires. They're all muddy. And you might as well forget the axles, even though they gave you three. <laughs> because... Uh, that's what I got. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how to reconstruct these. Maybe a file. But then they're always going to be pitted. Of course, no one's really going to see them, but... I mean, even the glass got some dirt to it. Which... There you go. I mean, that's a pretty brown looking window. Which, of course, like, you, it's a Model T, so they're square cut. So if you got a sheet of styrene, clear styrene, you can just measure two rectangles and cut them out, and there you go. So, maybe now you can see that I'm a bit justified in opening up the plastic bag. So, four minutes into the video, let's do that. Here's my old trusty scout knife. I put my long sleeve jacket on because it's cold down here. Yeah, I should have a... Oh, there we go. Cutter open from 1968 or whatever. <laughs> oh, you guys must hate me now. Okay, anyway. Oof. And there's the the main key feature. Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy. What do I got that I can... There's a piece of styrofoam. Okay, don't know how well it's going to pick up, but there they are. And their arms and their backs. And of course they got their little bowler caps on. <laughs> so there you go. But as you can see, this is your... Nice it's molded in black. I wouldn't even have to paint this. Just Laurel and Hardy. Although, as a true model builder, you always want to paint everything, no matter what color it's molded in. Because paint is better than plastic, especially when you glue... Uh, because you'll always have like a plastic plastic glue burn mark so if you paint over it, it covers it up Th this blurry object is a dashboard because my camera doesn't want to focus properly although it did for Stan and Laurel <sighs> you gotta love technology sometimes this got locked in here pretty good let's see if I can get it out Okay. Oh yeah, see now, we got the focus in. There's the uh, tea bucket and hood. Interesting to see it molded together like that. There we go. There we got the Model T bits and pieces. Your hood, your radiator, your car seat, and in the Model T era they had a gas tank under the car seat. It's the only place you could actually mount it on this little frame. But you know, for a kit that's back in the 60s here, it's pretty straight. Some of the new re-releases, AMT, there can be some complications. <laughs> 
there's the turtle deck which is common in a lot of these 23T kit, 25T kits. And of course all the parts, your engine block, half of the engine block, the other half's over there. Of course, because this was all sealed in a the bag. There's your up top. <clears throat> the other half of the T engine. <laughs> the oil pan. And then we got, yeah, let's just zoom, see if I can zoom down. There's your, your rear axle and your wheels, the car seat top to cover the gas tank, and the firewall. I've seen in some Model T books, they actually had an adapter, it was a spout, that went on the top of the gas tank and then came up underneath and was right in front of the seat somewhere, well there, and that's so that you didn't have to lift the seat up when you filled up the tank, because that was one of the Model T things. So anyway, let's just zoom back here. So that is what the 1960s Laurel and Hardy Model T looks like. When you dare to take apart and sacrilegiously rip open an old kit, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, that's what the Laurel and Hardy T kit looks like on the inside. And this will be nice with the museum with the silent movie night because it's the only way you can get Stan and Laurel Hardy is through the old kit or possibly if you can find the reissue on eBay. So. I don't have this in stock at the store. Don't get excited about it. This is actually one of those rare kits. Uh, I would recommend eBay in that if you want. And um, yeah, you may have to pay some bucks for it. But I think this is one of the only YouTube Stan and Laurel Hardy 25 Model T Roadster reviews. So, because uh, I looked for this. <laughs> All I can find is the real Stan and Laurel Hardy. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. And there's a nice shot of them. And we'll look forward to seeing you when I unbox another AMT Model T kit. So have a nice day.